There has always been a ton of drama coming out of the beauty community on YouTube. There's always been bickering and fighting between the big beauty influencers, but it has now gotten to the next level. The stuff that has been coming out lately has just been absolutely crazy, absolutely wild, and people are picking sides, whether they're on James Charles' side and Tati's, or maybe on Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson's. Well, I'm here to tell you guys that none of this is real, none of these people are good people, that they're all in the wrong. This all started around May of last year when James Charles uploaded a video to his Instagram promoting Sugar Bear Hair, which is a direct competitor to his close friend and another big social media beauty influencer, Dottie Westbrook. I also want to give a quick shout out to Sugar Bear Hair. I met their team weekend one at Coachella and they really helped me and my friends out with sister security because it was crazy. Um, you guys probably already know about their iconic hair vitamins, but they just came out with brand new vegan sleep vitamins. And first of all, taste so bomb but most importantly i've been dealing with a lot of anxiety recently and it always comes late at night when i'm laying in bed thinking which is not fun or fresh um so i've been taking these 30 minutes before bed and they've been really really helping so if you guys want to check them out you can swipe up tati was devastated by this and quickly put out her own instagram video when you do so much for people in your life and they not only don't return the favor but they just don't even see you. <laughs> but what really caused Shockwave last year was her video by Sister, where she goes in on James Charles. It starts off this guy that's trying to expose James Charles for being a predator and trying to take advantage of people because of his power. Made me want to vomit. Oh my god, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again, and somehow you're the victim. You know, it's really disgusting to manipulate someone's sexuality, especially when they are still, you know, emerging into adulthood and don't quite have everything figured out. You are using your fame, your power, your money to play with people's emotions. You're threatening to ruin them. You're threatening to embarrass but by the end of it, you actually see her true intentions. The reason she truly made this video was because of the promotion that James Charles did to her direct competitor. And what you really see for the rest of the video is a big promotion for her Halo brand. And it's not a palette. It's not something that people buy multiples of. People are not gonna buy a hair vitamin from over here and one from over here because that would be too much for your system to handle. So when you pair up with my number one competitor, it's embarrassing to me. Is it gonna crush my business? No, but it's embarrassing and you know that. Which no, he didn't say it was an anxiety pill, but I think alluding to that, to children, with a vitamin that looks like a gummy bear that tastes like candy. Like my mind is freaking blown you guys because um, I don't think marketing sleep pills to children is like a good idea at all. I would never do that ever in a million years. So for me with Halo, what I am really trying to do is improve something that already existed, yes. I wanted to dial in a formula that would work. I've never sent out PR. I've never bought an ad. I don't do that, A, because I don't want to. My product is good enough on its own and we're selling like hotcakes. Like I don't need to at this point. As we grow, maybe I will. This caused shockwave around the beauty community. People were massively unsubscribing from James Charles. People were taking Dottie's side and then James Charles responds, Dottie starts to get hate and it was just all over the place. But then just yesterday, Dottie broke her silence in a new video where she describes that the reason she made this James Charles video a week ago was because Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson convinced her to and manipulated her into making this video. He also shared that Jeffree had wanted me to have a small role in their docu-series, but the entire series was quickly changing because there was something horrible happening in our community with James Charles. He said that James Charles was a monster with many victims. Yes, I knew that Shane was friends with Jeffrey and that they were working together, but I thought to myself, why would Shane Dawson, the king of truth on YouTube, be turning against James Charles unless these things he was saying were true? Why would Shane sit in my home and spend so many hours telling me these 
horrific allegations if they were not true. Shane Dawson's already in big trouble because of his past videos that are coming to light in the past few days. And now with this video, people are really starting to dogpile on the hate train for Shane Dawson. But he responded right away on Instagram stating that all of this is fake and that all of this is not true. Jeffrey sent me what he claimed was an audio file from an alleged victim and told me to listen to the pain in her voice. The audio was clearly a small portion of oh my the God. conversation. It wasn't enough for me to contact the authorities. It was enough to scare me. Well, why would you make a video on the matter claiming these allegations? Because she is a I can't, I can't. I don't want to say mean things about people. This is insane. This is insane. This person literally Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, sorry, keep pressing play. I need to get through this video so I can, oh my God. As a victim of abuse myself. Sh oh my God. Terrifying. You are so manipulative. To think of facing public. You're fake, you're fake crying. You are fake crying. You are fake crying. That is not real. Oh my God. 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 That is not. And I made no mention of it in my video. Oh my god. Get off. The night before posting my video by sister. Oh my god. I texted Shane, sharing my concerns for James Charles, that he was out of the country on a high. It gets even wilder when Keemstar reports on Drama Alert that Gabby Hanna and other YouTubers such as Dati are deathly afraid of Jeffree Star and his retaliation and that he's actually going to bring even a hitman on them. Tati keeps saying in her video that she is afraid. Like she is afraid of Jeffree Star. She's afraid of her safety. She said that she even moved houses in this video because she's deathly afraid of Jeffree Star. And yesterday... Gabby Hanna tweeted out, I'm saying this publicly out of fear. If something happens to me or my loved ones, it's not an accident. A fan responded by saying like it was stalkers or crazy fans. Gabby says, it's not the angry fans I'm afraid of. Now listen guys, I can't tell you my source, all right? But I can tell you that Gabby Hanna is deathly afraid of Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. That's what that tweet is about. Can't give you my source, but that is what she's talking about. So many YouTubers have told me that they are afraid of Jeffree Star. They are afraid of him. Like he's going to do a hit on them or something. Like get your popcorn ready. This stuff you can't make up. There's drama all over the place and they're absolutely loving it. If you think for one second that these beauty influencers are not profiting from all this drama, you are way wrong. This is what they want. They want their names out there. Think about the first video that Tati made on James Charles. Think about how much money she made off of her advertisement for her brand, for her Halo pills. Now she is back in the good graces with James Charles and they're trying to take out Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson when they know Shane Dawson's on the ground right now and hurting because of other videos and other aspects of his career. This is all calculated, this is all on purpose, and I'm telling you right now, none of these people really care about the fans, about the viewers. All they're trying to do is get people to think that they're the ones that are the good people, so they buy their product. It's all a bunch of merchandise, all a bunch of bull, and don't fall for it. But that is it, guys. I hope you liked this video. This drama's wild. I'm going to stay on top of it. I'm sure you guys will. Just realize that they're all at fault. Thanks, and subscribe for more videos.